air at 9 o'clock. So heading out the door this morning, just dress warm. It is cold. Feels like 30 degrees in Las Cruces, 33 El Paso, and 19 in Cloud Crop. Not as windy, so that's some good news. 60s out west in Phoenix. We got 20s in Albuquerque, teens in Amarillo, and 25 in Lubbock at this time. So again, heading out the door, we've got clear skies in the forecast. Northeast winds are calm. And then by the 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock hour, as you can see, we are still tracking the 30s. We're not the only ones dealing with the cold air across Texas. And as we head over to the Midwest and the East Coast, cold blast is going to impact the eastern half of the United States. And it's all due to a strong system that is going to move out of Canada and bring the very cold temperatures. So some areas running about 30 degrees below normal for this time of year. Now our future track does show we've got clear skies heading out the door this morning at lunchtime, still seeing plenty of sunshine. So jackets needed as you head out the door, maybe a light jacket this afternoon. Then by seven o'clock tonight, as you can see, we will be under clear skies. And then tomorrow's forecast will gradually start to warm up. So as your trick treating tonight. The kids will need some extra layers under their costume. No rain, the winds, maybe a light breeze, which of course makes it feel a little worse out there. Just make sure they're dressed warm. Five o'clock, we're at 56 degrees, 51 at seven o'clock, and in the 40s by nine o'clock. Don't forget, daylight saving comes to an end this weekend on Sunday. So before you go to bed on Saturday nights or when you wake up early Sunday morning, you're going to have to set your clock back an hour and check your the batteries in your smoke detector and your carbon monoxide detector as well. We'll be in the 50s today from El Paso to Las Cruces, 55 Silver City, tracking the 50s around the area mountains. And our overnight lows will be cold, of course, but our afternoon highs gradually begin to warm up for the rest of the week. Once the weekend rolls around, we're back to the 80s. And then even on Monday, I think temperatures remain in the